Jeffrey, 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 how are we today? We're doing all right, yeah? Yeah, I'm good. Man, it's always a pleasure to have you on camera. It's always a pleasure to learn from you. And today, we get to talk about my bad grades in high school. Wait, A+. plus. That's not having to do with my grades, is it? No, no, it's not. But an A+, plus is something we're going to talk about today, isn't it? Absolutely. Something I never received. Jeff definitely got a lot of them. But A+, plus automation, the importance of automation. Let's just start there at the beginning. What is A+. Plus? Well, A-plus automation is where we come in and we help get customers running. You know, they're having labor shortages, they're having issues with quality. We get a nice repeatable process in there with a robot or whatever they need. Well, automation is important and I definitely want to dive into that. But the first thing I want the audience to kind of connect with is who you are, what you do, the importance of what you do. Because I've heard some horror stories, Jeff. I mean, I got to take a breath even thinking about the horror stories of these huge integrators that come in and just can't spend a day with people. They have, get a phone call, got to run off, get a phone call, got to run off. You guys are dedicated. I've heard you even say, I'll turn off my phone from my sales team, from my human resource. I don't talk to anyone until my job is done. So let's talk about the importance of having an integrator like you who is focused on a client from the small guys who are just getting started to the medium sized shops and even the large ones when dedicated to do so. But you guys help with all parts of the process because it can be a scary thing, can't it? Yes, it can be. So let's talk about A plus and all the different areas where you can support the clients out there who are hesitant to get into automation and need a support partner like yourself. Yeah, so whenever they're small, um, they're new to automation, they just want to get their first robot in, similar to these ones with the collaborative robots, we come in and install them, we work with them, whether they want to do they want us to do all of it. Sometimes they say, Well, I'll take care of this, I'll take care of that. You just kind of give me some guidance and then come in at the end and wrap it up. So we do as little or as much as they need at all levels, but typically with the smaller shops that are getting into it, they really appreciate that. So I've heard, I've heard some of the best rumors about you, my friend, by the way. Oh, yeah? I was in a shop not too long ago, hint, hint, might be this one, not too long ago where they, were, they had 10 years of frustration. Then they implemented these awesome cobots here, but had three or four weeks of learning and processing and still some hiccups. You did it in an hour. In fact, they were shocked. They were so shocked they weren't even prepared because they wanted to put two machines on one cell like you see here. And they go, oh, great. We got to move the machine to get it here. You are that good. And the reason I lead into that is because I want to talk more about automation as a whole. There's a lot of folks out there who are still hesitant. They don't think they need it. They can, their humans can move faster than the cobot, which might be true, but in a long term, on a broader scale, cobots are the way. They help us keep competitive on a global scale. And I think, according to you and probably a lot of other people, labor shortage is maybe the first discussion we get into. So automation in general, why do we get into it and where can you help? So yeah, labor shortage, that's our number one reason. Um, so when you get a robot in, yes, it moves slower. Uh, to the, when you look at it, but whenever you account for no breaks, no lunch, and ability to run partial or full shifts after hours, it really makes up the quantities for the week uh, when it comes to that. And then on top of that, you also have the other reasons that we have are quality. So it's also running shorter, but you're not getting as much scrap because the robot's doing the exact same thing the exact same way every time. You know what I like, Jeff, a lot about automation? Exactly. You probably do too. Is that we are now taking a second and third shift that doesn't exist and we're able to run on those shifts now. Yes. Not only that, but we're not taking jobs, we're actually enhancing people's jobs. How many times have you seen somebody, you know, over and over again doing the same thing back and forth and kind of bored with their job? Or, you know, it's just monotonous and these people get to now run two, three, four, five machines and learn so much. This is what automation is bringing to the table, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. I mean, you just take a look behind us. So you had someone running two of these machines at all times and now you just have one operator coming in to tend these cells and make sure the parts are replenished and out of the way. You know, let's keep going. So yeah, and to your point, to your point, we don't even see an operator right now, yeah, do we? No, there isn't. No. <laughs> and that's part of, and you also mentioned quality. You know, we talk about quality as being important, and you're right, it's the same thing repetitively. Once it's set up, it's good to go, isn't it? Yeah, it's good to go. And so with the quality, and then sometimes you have, the parts have to be put in a specific way every time. And an operator, it's, they have the human error, so if you get rid of that. Jeff, is there anything that we can do today? There's, there's always someone learning from the MTD channel. Is there anything we can do today to kind of, through absolute machine tools, through A-plus automation, 
that we can do to help instill confidence in someone who's saying it's still on that fence teetering man i'm i know i need to do it i don't want to do it i'm scared to do it i know i need to is there anything we can do today to say this is who we are this is what we do these are the reasons why we need it are you fighting labor shortage are you fighting quality issues are you struggling with some of these things that are going on what can we do today to say hey guys we got your back yeah so we we work with customers that do that all the time and they have those same questions. We offer free Zoom demos for these robots and other robots so we can get on, we can do a little little demonstration for them while we're in our office free of charge so they can kind of ease their pain and we can go through how to, how to program it and show how easy it is without them having to make any investments or any commitments. So you're telling me I can learn all about it without investing a thing? Yeah. That's pretty cool. We can learn, you know, a little bit enough to get you more confidence into knowing how easy it can be to, to get started with these. So. That's pretty cool. All right, Jeff. So last question I have for you. Let's hope that we've done a decent job today of conveying this message and we've swayed someone that was sitting on that fence before to go, you know what? I'm ready. I'm ready to give it a try. Yeah. Jeff has a, a kind face. He looks like he knows what he's doing. He's obviously helped out the folks that are here right now with some very complicated situations in a matter of 60 minutes or less yeah. when it was weeks and years before that. So where can we find out more about A plus automation? Uh, we have websites. I have emails. We have an automation email. Uh, my business card, you can call uh, Absolute Machine Tools and get a hold and they'll patch you through to me or whoever they need to. Perfect. That's all I need to know, all my right. friend. I appreciate your time like always. Guys, this is my friend Jeff. If you need to know more about A+, Absolute Machine Tools, give them a call, shoot it up on Google. Easy to find. Everyone's easy to find these days, right? Yeah. I hope this has helped you at least a little bit get into the world of automation. And if you need that reliable integrator to help you implement automation in a world that can sometimes be unknown, sometimes scary, sometimes worried about that upfront cost, these guys can help you out and make things a whole lot easier. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you again soon.